God is good, isn't he? Amen. Our God, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we'll rejoice and we'll be glad in it. How many of you are glad to be in the house of the Lord today? The Bible says that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. How many of you all feel free? Hallelujah. We honor the Lord for his goodness. God bless you, each and every one of you. Welcome to the City of Faith and to our annual Women's Day. We are excited about Jesus. Amen. Amen. The church would not be much of a church if it had no women in it. So today we celebrate all of the women who make contributions every year, every every week, every day to the City of Faith. I honor you and I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Find two or three people, hug somebody, bless them this morning. Just welcome them, Lord, and send to us a choice vessel this morning. She is uh, my sister beloved and she is also a friend. Uh, going on about 10, 10, some 15 years, I guess. Um, I've watched the Lord do wondrous things in her life and I'm excited about what God is doing in, in, in her life and getting ready to do. She is a vessel of the Lord. She is a woman of God. She stands in the office of the prophetic voice of the Lord and as an evangelist. And I'm excited that God has called us, her to be here with us today. Amen. Amen. And so we welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we loose you to speak what the love does say in the Lord this morning. How many of y'all need a word from the Lord? I'm going to ask you to clap your hands, give the Lord a praise. For granting us Karen Evans this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better than that. Give God a hand clap of praise. Come on, be glad to be alive. Can you open your mouth, clap your hands, throw your head back and say, Lord, I love you this morning. Come on, anybody thankful that the Lord touched you with his finger of love this morning? Come on, don't fool me. Anybody really grateful that you made it to see another day? Not just because it's Sunday, not just because we're here for church, but you're glad that the Lord spared you all week long. Our millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. Come on, put your hands together and give God a hand clap of praise one more time. And don't get tired this morning. Hug somebody one more time because you're in the right place at the right time. Amen. Come on, touch them. They might not feel like being touched. Amen. But you're anointed with a hug this morning. Amen. Amen. Truly, we honor the Lord this morning, and I thank God uh, for allowing me to be here with you uh, this morning. This is a great honor, amen, uh, to stand behind the sacred desk. Uh, my friend has been pastoring, um, and he is one of my favorites, uh, darling. When it comes to three men, I, I consider them the sons of thunder. Uh, your, your pastor and uh, pa Pastor uh, Winfield. Amen. Amen. And Michael Washington. Right, the three of them went before me uh, in ministry of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And God has done some mighty things in their lives. Amen. And I am so honored to stand here. Amen. In respect uh, to uh, to them and what God has done in their life. This is a beautiful church. Amen. I remember when he got started. And God is just good. Amen. 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 If you love the shepherd, can you put your hands together for Pastor Shepherd? One more time. Amen. And to the women, Sister Darlene, amen. amen. My extended family, amen. Amen. Thank you for calling me, um, for the, the invite. And I am just honored to be here. Very, very humbled, amen. amen. Uh, I know for a fact that this house does not lack good teaching, amen. 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 As you sit under a professor, amen. amen. In his own right. So I am not going to be before you long. Um, I was trying to come up with something really womanly. Yeah. Come on. I was trying to yeah, I was really trying to preach something woman in the day, you know. Lord, give me Ruth. Give me Delilah. Give me something. Give me something woman. I think somebody said, not so. Amen. Amen. But there is a word from the Lord that is going to benefit the whole house. Somebody say the whole house. Amen. And it is prophetic in nature, and I'm just going to flow. Y'all have to invite me back next time to really execute the text and do all that stuff. But I'm just going to give. Uh, it's hot off. Somebody say it's hot off the press. It's hot off the press. Amen. It's hot off the press. That's how the Lord leads me because He doesn't want me to add anything to it or take anything from it. Amen. Amen. So uh, the scripture is Ezekiel. Ezekiel, uh, go to chapter 46, verses 16 and 17. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And as you're turning, somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. 
And before I read, can you just, just touch yourself on the chest and say, Self, Self. Self. you're getting ready to get what God has promised. What God has promised. Hallelujah. Oh, now I'm not receive prophecy. Say, say, touch yourself and say, Self, Self. you're getting ready to get ready. what God has promised. God has Some of y'all been waiting a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 46, verses 16 through 17. Amen. Thus says the Lord God, if the prince gives a gift out of his inheritance to any of his sons, it shall belong to his sons. Yes. It is their possession by inheritance. Somebody shout inheritance. inheritance. But if he gives a gift from his inheritance to one of his servants, it shall be his until the year of liberty. Uh -huh. Then it shall return to the prince. His inheritance shall be only his sons it shall belong to them. Let me read this to you in the message translation. A message from God, the master. If the prince deeds a gift from his inheritance to one of his sons, it stays in the family. Somebody say it stays in the family. Stays in the family. But if he deeds a gift from his inheritance to a servant, the servant keeps it only until the year of liberation or the year of jubilee. After that, it comes back to the prince his inheritance is only for his sons. It stays in the family. The prince must not take the inheritance from any of the people dispossessing them of their land. He can give his sons only what he himself owns. None of my people are to be run off of their Land. Thus is the reading of the scripture. Before you take your seat, uh, why don't you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. the prophet is going to preach from the subject. What's mine is mine. Come on, you can take your seat. Somebody shout, what's mine is mine. Amen. A message from God, the master. Uh, verse 17, he says, that if the prince must not take back his inheritance from any of the people dispossessing them of the land, he can give his sons only what he himself owned their land. Now, this is, not, this is not on the paper, but this is just a thought I'm downloading as I'm talking to you. Um, when it comes to um, uh, our heritage, uh, the African American heritage, um, you don't quite often hear about um, our people. Amen. Leaving an inheritance for our children or our family. Amen. We uh, uh, we quite often leave behind debt, mm -hmm. leave behind bills. Am I talking to anybody? Yeah. Amen. We don't quite often leave land and property. To me, by the end of this month, if you believe it, put those hands together and celebrate in advance, because you know that God is getting ready to do something for you. This inheritance, I know local shy that happens. We talk about this inheritance, amen.